Hi, Benchmark families. I am introducing the concept of geocaching with all of our students this week in preparation for our holiday break. Um, and I just want to say that when I started doing this in 2008, I was blown away about how fun it is. And it's such a great, fun family activity. And given that we are kind of restricted in terms of our movements and our actions and all of that stuff, I thought it might be an opportunity for us to get out with our families and do something just a little bit different um, that might kind of stave off some of the boredom uh, of being at home all the time. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video about geocaching. Essentially what geocaching is, is it's a treasure hunt. So I equate this to, have you ever had to go on a treasure hunt to find your birthday present before? And I'm pleased to announce that most benchmark kids have had a treasure hunt to get to their birthday presents at one time or another. The treasure hunt, however, takes place with an online component. So people hide these little tiny, some of them are small, some of them are big, they hide boxes anywhere in the community and you navigate to them using the geocaching app on your phone and it's just a really fun time. You navigate to them and then you have to find the hidden treasure. And then once you find it, you might actually learn something a little new. You might have an adventure along the way. Even if you don't find it, you probably have gone somewhere that you never would have thought to go before. So I'm going to encourage all of you to consider getting an account on geocaching.com. There is a link along with this video on either Seesaw or Google Classroom and just join in on the fun. Now, I do have to say geocaching, there is a free account and there's also an upgraded account that's $30 a year. I have the upgraded account, but the free account works just fine, especially if you're getting just getting started with it. I hope everybody has fun and I hope everybody has a really great Thanksgiving break.